This is a quick tutorial on how you can take an animation that was initially created for one skeleton and retarget it to another skeleton inside Unreal Engine. This is a simple technique that is useful if you're trying to transfer animations between characters with different rigs. In this example, the initial animation we're using is an FBX file uh, that's for the radical motion capture skeleton, which is on the right here. And the target is the epic skeleton, which is on the left. They look similar because they're using the same mesh, but as you can see, the bone structure is different between the two. If, like me, you're also using Radical Motion Capture, you can actually download this as a sample project from the GitHub link in the description. But this process is the exact same for any other skeleton, including marketplace assets, Mixamo characters, and so on. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that both the source skeleton and the target skeleton are rigged up and imported into Unreal. In this case, that's already done for us in this project. So next, we'll import our FBX file that actually contains the animation. So I'm just going to drag this FBX file inside here. And when we import, we can actually choose the skeleton. And here, we're going to be using the radical as the source skeleton here. We're going to open up the animation just to make sure it's playing right, which it is. And the next step is to set up our skeletons for retargeting. So we're going to go to the radical skeleton first and click on the retargeting manager here. And in the bottom section, you'll see uh, a humanoid rig. That's what we'll want. And on the left hand side, we're going to see the epic skeleton bones. So what's going on here is that Unreal Engine is going to take the bones from our custom skeleton, which is the radical skeleton, map those to the epic skeleton, and then remap it again from the epic skeleton to your target skeleton, whatever that may be. So that's why on the left hand side, you see the epic skeleton bone structure. And on the right hand side, there's a drop down with all the bones from our radical skeleton. And here I've already set it up so that they match. Um, the auto map will get some of the bones correct, but what I really had to do was go and manually see which bone on the epic skeleton matches up with the bone on my custom skeleton. Hopefully, if you're using a humanoid character, the skeleton defaults to a T pose or an A pose. If not, you'll want to change that using the modify pose button. Now we're going to repeat this process for the epic skeleton. We'll still open up the retarget manager and link the bones. But in this case, since Unreal is already using the epic skeleton under the hood and our target is also the epic skeleton, we can auto map and it'll fill it in perfectly. Now we have to make sure that the retarget base pose on both the source and target skeletons are the same since Unreal needs to have the same reference pose on both skeletons. Otherwise the animation won't retarget correctly. In this case, the epic skeleton, as you can see, defaults to an A pose and the radical skeleton defaulted to a T pose. These don't match. So we're going to set the epic skeleton to use a T pose instead. In this project, we have a very short animation that just sets the epic skeleton to that T pose, which will open up here. And what we did was we just went to the create asset and created a pose asset based off of the current pose that you see here and then we saved it. Now, if we go back to our epic skeleton, we can find that T pose that we saved when we click on modify pose, and here it is, and we can import it. Then we can toggle it on and off using the view or hide pose buttons. If you're following along on your own project and you want to use this T pose on the epic skeleton, you can simply download the free sample project and migrate this T pose asset directly to your project. Finally, now that the setup's done, we're going to go back to our original animation that we had imported, and we're going to right click retarget anim assets and duplicate anim assets and retarget. Here, we're going to see the available skeletons that we've rigged up to the humanoid rig. So we're going to see the epic skeleton here since we just set that up. And importantly, you can notice that the reference poses are the same. And if you can make out this red text here, it's saying the same thing I was saying earlier, where you need a, a similar reference pose. We can just prefix this with retargeted and then retarget it. 
Now, if you open this up, we'll find that it retargeted successfully. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out some more of the tutorials. And if this helped you, please give it a like and subscribe for notifications to our future videos. See you in the next one.